Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I am making red sauce pasta that's perfect for those whose stomach is not good with highly acidic tomato sauce. So I'm gonna need roasted bell peppers, long pasta, I'm using fettuccine, this is what I had at home, but honestly you can use spaghetti or the fettuccine, it does not matter. This sauce is so easy to make. It's gonna be a little nutty, I'm gonna show you a trick how to open cans if you can't. Get a butter knife, put it underneath, and twist it slightly. And see that pop? Did you see that pop right there? That's how the jar is opened easily. Perfect. So we're gonna need a food processor, blender. I'm using the KitchenAid and I did put links down below. One cup of walnuts. Walnuts are high in oil, so it will help make it creamier. A big squeeze of lemon juice make sure you get all the seeds out a big squeeze nice about a tablespoon minced garlic now this is up to you depends on how much you like garlic I like it a lot and this is pre-made minced garlic that I did I just blended a ton of garlic put it in a jar and then put some olive oil on top I'm gonna need four bell peppers. So that is one, and then two. So this is gonna be my red. It is so tasty. It's slightly, slightly sour because there's a tiny bit of vinegar in the water it's chilling in. Very delicious, and you can also use this sauce for toast or even a dipping sauce. It's gonna be so good. If you add some cream cheese to it, you can definitely use it as a dipping sauce. Salt to taste. I added about half teaspoon, and then once I blend it, I'll try it, see how salty it is. If, it's, if it needs more, I add more. You can always add, you can never take away. So I put it on puree and look how quickly it blends. And the sauce is almost done. We're just gonna need one more, two, two more ingredients. Look at that. Sauce, there you go, homemade, natural. So tasty and uh, you know there's nothing bad in it, no preservatives. Mozzarella, I'm gonna add a half, half cup, like a handful. That's about a half cup. And this is gonna blend it into very small pieces, creamy. It will help the sauce to stick to the pasta. Because often the problem is making pasta at home is that the sauce does not stick to the pasta and there's always so much sauce left on the bottom of your plate. I'm also gonna add some oregano because I totally forgot it. Oregano. As much as you like, really, up to your taste. Um, but yeah, uh, I did not want to make this cheesy, so that's why I did not add more cheese. It's just to help the sauce stick to the pasta. It's a really, really good trick. All right, that is done. So here's my pasta. I'm actually only making for myself. Um, so cook as much pasta as as many people as you're serving. And then for this, I'm gonna add like a little bit more. This is my serving dish. You want to mix all your pasta in a serving dish and then people can take as much as they want into their plate. So delicious, so creamy, and it's pretty healthy. And if you like, you can also use gluten-free pasta. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it. How easy was this? All of this took less than 15 minutes. The longest was the pasta cooking everything else was so easy so quick and so cheap so cheap look at that beautiful and then top it with something green just to make it look aesthetic beautiful looks like it came straight out of a restaurant look how beautiful this is it does have a kind of a nutty taste but if you kids like that then um this is even perfect for kids it's healthy it's uh, it's hearty, but it's not gonna make you feel like you're in food coma because it's so light. It's just pasta, pepper, a little bit of cheese, and walnuts. So yummy, so easy to make, and I hope you do try it. Enjoy!